for configuration of strain gauges with our data logger ESDL30 we need to click on the icon ESDL30 UNI and SDL12 universal data logger window opens up click on connection icon it will automatically detect the COM3 port click on connect it will connect with the data logger an open site window will pop up click on cancel go to create file click on create site enter the site name enter the site description click on save go back to file again click on open site select the site which you have created just now that is demo 56 it will automatically detect the logger serial number as is shown here click on open now go to search sensors unselect the channels which are not selected that is channel 2 and channel 3 click on search sensors zero is being highlighted which is a default address given from the factory now go to edit click on the set sensor address select channel 1 assign the address whichever you want to give here you can give capital A click on set address a new address A is being given go back to search sensors again unselect channel 2 and channel 3 click on search sensors and need to check whether the new address given is highlighted or not a new sensor address A is being highlighted click on edit go to sensor table select channel 1 select the sensor model number that is ESDI ESVI01 vibrating wire sensor enter the sensor serial number that is A26042 you can give the sensor tag here we have given SG1 select the number of parameters that is 2 go to edit parameter units under parameter name select strain parameter unit would be micro strain go to second one that is temperature select the unit that is degree centigrade exit click on the next arrow button click on the back arrow just to make sure that it is saved click on update data logger memory erase successfully sensor table updated now go to configuration sensors go to ESDI ESVI01 SDI12 interface for vibrating wire sensor click on the sensor configuration select the channel that is channel 1 select the address that is A click on read it will start reading sensor information here it will show you the model number EDS20V full scale values 3000 Hz start frequency is 500 and frequency 1500 offset value number of steps sweep time coefficient A0 coefficient A1 and coefficient A2 you need to enter the gauge factors given in the calibration certificate of the strain gauge under A1 that is 0.003967 click on update it will update sensor information click on ok go back to monitor sensor click on start under parameter 1 it's showing 2502.641 under parameter 2 it's showing the temperature observe it for a while and note down this parameter 1 value you need to enter this value under offset stop go to 
offset value and enter the parameter 1 value with an opposite polarity that is with a negative sign click on update sensor settings updated click on monitor sensors click on start under parameter 1 it's almost 0 under parameter 2 it's showing the temperature click on stop and exit now go to logger setup you need to set in the logger date logger time best is to sync with pc click on sync with pc and it will sync with the pc or a laptop the date and time is updated under logger settings logger id is given and sdi 12 bus power option there are two options logger powered and external power here we are giving logger power with three volts batteries so we will be selecting logger power go to setting again go to gprs model here ftp settings are given ip address username password you can give your own username and password and don't forget to enter the port click on update and you need to set in the upload interval time here we have selected 11 o'clock as the uploading time the next uploading time would be 18 hours a difference of 7 hours and click on update under advanced settings you need to enter the service provider access point name and click on update under GPRS modem just to check the modem is working or not you need to turn on the modem here it's showing the signal strength of 19 now turn off the modem go to data logger select scan under scan options two options are given short and long interval you can select either of them here we have selected short that is for 10 seconds select the next scan start time by selecting the recent time make sure the scan time and the uploading time is different it should not be same otherwise it will conflict click on update scan options updated successfully under scan status you can check in the scanning interval you can check in the scan scan data click on start scan is started light from red has changed to green and status is showing on that means scanning is started under logger memory you can select either stop or overwrite the data and download header is being enabled and you can download data by clicking the download data after completion of configuration don't forget to disconnect the data logger data logger disconnected this completes the configuration of ESDL30 data logger with our strain gauge